we were approved um, yesterday by the FDA to treat malignant pacoma, and it is the first and only therapy approved to treat the disease. So it's a, it's a, a real breakthrough for these patients, and uh, um, it's otherwise known as NAB uh, serolimus, which is a an mTOR inhibitor um, with the nanotechnology albumin bound nanotechnology. Um, similar to what has been used successfully uh, in the product of Braxane, um, which you know is approved for three or four indications and pretty um, pretty well used across the oncology space. So this is a similar uh, nanotechnology where albumin is bound to the mTOR inhibitor, and it drastically changes the PK and PD profile of the product, um, and more importantly, um, demonstrates clinical results that that we really haven't seen before in this disease. And so when you look at uh, a high response rate, which the drug was approved on. That's pretty impressive uh, for uh, in the minds of oncologists. But more importantly, is the durability of those responses, Peter, where uh, we're seeing you know um, a high response rate, but also a durability of response that uh, that really hasn't been seen before in the disease. So the albumin bound uh, you know technology is really kind of taken this mTOR inhibitor to a, a new level where I think we can saturate the mTOR target to a degree that hasn't been done in the past with other mTOR inhibitors. Yeah, so the clinical trial used to gain approval was known as the AMPACT trial, um, and the trial was a phase two trial uh, in 34 patients, and uh, what we saw was an overall response rate of 39% uh, and durability of response, uh, you know, in about 60% uh, of patients actually maintain their response uh, at greater than two years. And then a, about 25% had a response lasting uh, north of three years. So uh, impressive uh, data, impressive, um, uh, both from a response rate and durability. From an, uh, a safety side, the adverse event profile is, I think, what many oncologists would consider predictable for the mTOR class. Uh, which is which is pretty remarkable because we're able to deliver a lot more drug to the target and to the tumor without seeing a disproportionately higher um, rate of adverse events. So it's a typical profile um, that you would expect with an mTOR inhibitor um, with uh, stomatitis, uh, things like interstitial lung disease and pneumonitis, which are fairly uh, familiar to oncologists who've used mTOR inhibitors probably for north of 10 years now.